Thank you everyone for joining us today for Lunchtime with Libby Cooking Program. I'm Rebecca Shankman. I am the director of COPE and um, we're glad to see so many people joining today. That's wonderful. So today Libby is going to be featuring a uh, blender black bean soup and hopefully everyone did receive the recipe. Um, if you haven't, um, you can email myself or Libby and we'll, we'll be sure to send it to you as well as um, if you'd like a recording of today's uh, presentation so you could follow along um, at home. I am happy to send that along as well. So this uh, presentation is recorded and we just ask that everyone stays muted um, during the duration of Libby's uh, talk. And then at the end, you can either um, send questions in the chat or just unmute yourself and ask Libby any questions you might have at the end. Let a couple more people in. And we do have two more upcoming programs similar to this, one in March and one in April. Um, March will be a recipe for brain health and um, April will feature a recipe that focuses on um, soy and how soy can help prevent certain cancers. So if you go to our website and click on employee nutrition counseling, you will see registration links for all these events. And lastly, I did want to um, let everyone know and we will be putting an ad out in Campus Currents, but our winter health challenge will be starting next week where um, we're calling it a buddy challenge. So if you complete two nutrition counseling visits with Libby during these challenge dates, and you refer a, a new and eligible uh, colleague or friend who also participates in Villanova's health benefits plan, and they book a visit with Libby, you both will receive a free lunch voucher to use at Villanova's campus. Um, and there is no limit to how many new people you can refer. Um, so more information will be coming in Campus Currents and you probably also received um, some emails from Libby this week regarding all these wonderful upcoming events. So um, without further ado, I will hand over the screen to Libby and if you all wanna put on speaker mode, you will be able to see her beautiful kitchen much better. So thank you, Libby. Well, happy Heart Month. Well, uh, just a little trivia for you. Our hearts beat 115 beats per day, pumping 2,000 gallons of blood. Now, this is really important for circulating oxygen and nutrients to all of our cells. So quick, what are five reasons why it's important for us to eat our cholesterol down? All right. Can't delay too long. First of all, cholesterol, when it's elevated, can contribute to plaque on the inside of our, fat, our, of our artery walls. Two, this can narrow that space. And three, this can elevate our blood pressure. Four, it can increase our risk of heart attack. And five, it can also increase our risk of stroke. So it is very important to look for ways to eat our cholesterol down every day. So with that being said, I've got this wonderful blender black bean soup. I think you're going to love it. And it's just is going to, it's so simple. It highlights three ways that you can cook or select foods that will help lower your cholesterol. The first way is really by the cooking method. Um, these beans have been cooked in advance. You can use canned beans or you can cook them yourself. I like cooking them yourself because it is a completely fat-free method of cooking, which is true of the canned beans as well, but it includes a liquid that does not contain any sodium. So I'm actually using water for this recipe. I made it yesterday and was impressed by how well it turned out with water. Uh, you can also use a low sodium vegetable or chicken stock. These are great ways to add a little extra flavor, but also help control the sodium. Let's see, got the water, got the beans. Next, just need to add our onion and poblano pepper. I love poblano pepper. This adds just a bit of smoky heat and about a quarter of the poblano pepper is going to go in there. I know that blenders do a great job of blending things together, super fine, but I still like to chop up some of the ingredients just to make sure that they all get 
blended smooth and there are no chunks. The onion simply cut off the root as well as the opposite end and then in half again. And it's very easy then to just peel off this outer edge or this outer layer and slice it into half again. This recipe just calls for a quarter of an onion. So pretty simple again, just to be sure everything gets chopped. I'll give it a coarse chop and add those pieces in. Following that, we have our wonderful flavoring spices. And I'll start off with the cumin, which is a fabulous, rich, warm spice that we associate with Indian cooking or sometimes Mexican cooking, garlic powder. And I like to add these not in the beginning, but it, towards the end so that they don't clump up and get trapped around the blade. And then finally, just a touch of chili powder to give it just a little bit more heat. I like that. And of course, put the blender cap on. And we'll let this blend. So this doesn't have to be completely smooth, although since I retained some of the black beans in their whole form for adding later, getting it pretty smooth is going to add a nice contrast and depth to the soup while we also have the coarse texture of the black beans. Simply add the ingredients into a pan and we will bring this up to soup temperature. Now, if you know me and for lunch, I know a lot of you are on a schedule and like things to be super fast and easy. You can also heat this in the microwave, which saves even a little bit more time. So while that's coming up to temperature, again, a very heart healthy way of cooking. We're gonna cook with liquid. We're just gonna heat it up. It contains no fat, but by no means should you avoid fat. You can also use canola oil, olive oil, um, avocado oil. These are great fats that are low in saturation. So as I mentioned, there are three ways that, three reasons that I selected this recipe because they highlight healthy ways that you could eat down your cholesterol. So the first one was a healthy cooking method, which we have here, cooking with water, which can also be like braising or poaching, stewing uh, your foods. These would be great ways of cooking with, or of a low fat or fat-free method of cooking. And secondly, this recipe is low in saturated fat. We get saturated fat from animal sources. So often it is in the animal proteins that we eat, but it's also in things like butter and whole fat dairy. So this recipe actually eliminates the animal protein. We're going to rely on the beans for protein, which are a fantastic source of protein. And they are, um, low in saturated fat, which is perfect. And finally, I also love the idea of using beans and incorporating them into our salads or perhaps a uh, pilaf with a whole grain because beans not only include protein, but they include fiber. And for those of you who are wondering, well, how much fiber do I need? For women, it's about 25 grams a day. For men, closer to 38 grams a day. But a quarter of that for each, for each group should be from soluble fiber. And the importance of soluble fiber is because this is the type of fiber that grabs onto cholesterol in our gut and helps get it out of our body so that we're not absorbing it or reabsorbing it back into our bloodstream. It is very helpful in lowering our blood cholesterol. So I know some of you might be watching and thinking, well, beans, I haven't tried them, or maybe you like them, or, or maybe you don't like them. We can get soluble fiber from a lot of great things like sweet potatoes, turnips, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, 
We can also get it from fruits like pears, um, apples, blueberries, figs, and dates. And I'll showcase, of course, avocado on top of our black bean soup, but you could also make this with chickpeas, lentils, or any other type of bean. So I can hear this bubbling in the background. I'm gonna cut the heat and bring it over here and show you how fun this soup is. Now, how am I doing on time? I know I'm doing fantastically. Oh, I wish you could smell this wonderful soup. It just is heartwarming, no pun intended. And you might've noticed my cute little bowl. I picked this because of course, it's heart month. So I'll label this up and it has a nice texture, um, liquidy, but also creamy because some of the beans have been blended. And then you have the coarse texture of the whole beans in the soup as well. So once that is ladled in, I'm gonna add just a few details to this. I mean, soups are delicious on their own, but they also are even more fun when you're able to add some of those extra things to the top. I have pre-cut some pepper, and this just is an orange bell pepper that is coarsely diced. I'll add just a touch of that. And I have some fat-free sour cream, which I think is a nice touch, especially with some of the Greek style, oh, I said fat-free sour cream. It could have been fat-free sour cream, but this actually is a fat-free yogurt. So we're incorporating just a little bit more protein. And like I said, I think with the Greek styles of yogurt, they really have an extra creaminess and richness that make this those dollops on top of your soup that much more tasty. Let's see, what else should go on here? I have some hot jalapeno. These happen to be pickled from uh, a jar, but cutting fresh would be delightful. And a squeeze of lime. Add that, but in a minute. And of course, our avocado. I think this is going to add just a nice fun touch. And again, a healthy type of fat that can be very helpful in controlling our cholesterol as well. So you might be wondering how I kept this avocado from browning since I had it pre-cut. And quite simply, I had rubbed the surface with a wedge of lime and that had kept it nice and green for this demonstration. So I'll just add a few of these chunks right in here. Oh, this is really looking good. And let's see, we might have time for a tomato. I'm gonna to chop a little bit of that and put in, and again, just nice bite-sized coarse pieces, I think add a really cool texture and fun excitement when you spoon up your soup. As I mentioned, our squeeze of lime. Add that right on top and delish. So I'll move this up so you can see it. All those beautiful colors in our beautiful little heart bowl. Bon appetit, happy heart month, and have a great day. Thank you, Libby. And if anyone has any questions, um you know, feel free to, as I said, unmute yourself and you can ask Libby or you can put a question in the chat. Libby, I have a question. How does this soup fare cold? So if you were to heat it up and then, you know, had it leftovers, could you eat it cold, um, you know, the next day for lunch or, or have you not tried that? <laughs> oh, I did try it. So I mentioned yesterday that I made this in advance and it was wonderful cold. So if by chance you uh, pulled it out of the fridge, it's delectable that way. And I think too, it added, um, yeah, so. Great. I, I'll vouch for it cold. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. And like I said, happy heart month to all. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And um, if you would like a copy of this recording, please 
email me or Libby and we will be sure to send it to you. Thank you.